Hallelujah! Good morning and welcome to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is December the 8th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Be a Success for God. Our opening theme verse is from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 1 to 2, and I read, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seateth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth. Hallelujah. Each one of us is ordained of God to be very successful. But you can't really be successful until you know God's plan for your life. You could be a success for you or for those cheering on you. But being a success for God is what counts. A success for you means you have achieved your goals and your dreams. A success for the world means you fulfill the world's dream and expectation of you. But these are not true success. True success means you've achieved God's goals and dreams. Success for life means your accomplishments on the basis of God's calling, His vision, dreams and plans. And it always has to be done in God's way, not man's way. You measure success at different points in your life. In academics, for example, if you were in class 1 and you were successful in your exams, that's success in that class, not class 2 or 3. Someone else who is in class 2 or 3 will be measuring accordingly. When you get to a higher class, you will again be rated by the corresponding standards and requirements of that class. So, success is relative. Be determined that at different stages of your life, you will be very successful in line with God's plan for your life. The most important thing you should always be, what does God want? What does He think? That's the only way you can know whether or not you're successful. And remember, His will, plan and purpose will always be consistent with His word, the scriptures. There are many people who do not care to know what God thinks. Some don't even think that God has an individual plan for their lives to care for them. But the truth is that He does. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. He not only cares, He has a plan that's not only communicable, but a plan that can and must be actuated. Hallelujah! Now, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this confession right after me. Dear Lord, thank you for leading and guiding me into your plans, visions, dreams, and purpose for my life. My only passion is the expansion of your kingdom, propagating Christ's love, and the salvation of souls all around the world. I am deeply committed to your heartbeat, increasing the influence, impact, spread and penetration of the kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, for you to further grasp to this message, kindly study these following scriptures. From the book of 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 to 16, and the book of Acts chapter 26, verses 16 to 18. Hallelujah! It is important that we be a success for God. Share this beautiful gospel. Tune in again tomorrow for another powerful message from a man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. 
To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.